sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here with a, another card and dice baseball game. And as you can see, I have improved, I think, my presentation setup. Um, I got myself uh, one of those overhead arms that can show stuff from, uh, you know, overhead. And so now I've got that um, that view instead of like from off to the side like I used to have. So let me know in the comments if you like this better. But as you can see from the title of this um, video, this will be a Hall of Fame team, a baseball Hall of Fame team against a Negro League team basically a Negro League All-Star team. So uh, we're going to have the Hall of Famers, the Baseball Hall of Famers, visiting the Negro League team. On the mound for the Negro Leaguers will be John Donaldson, um, who in his average season that he would do, and it's funny because like with the Negro Leaguers, it's... Um, they have the like their average statistics for a, for a season, and for the Hall of Famers, they have their combined statistics for their entire career. So um, John Donaldson, his um, 154 game average was that he was 12 and nine with a 251 earned run average, 19 starts and two saves, 189 innings pitched and 156 hits allowed while walking 49 and striking out 111. And he will be facing a Hall of Fame lineup that will include, uh, and this is going to be the Hall of Fame lineup that he will be facing, Jackie Robinson, who um, was actually, I guess he did spend some time in the Negro Leagues, but he is in the Baseball Hall of Fame. And he did play in the major leagues, so he is eligible to play. Uh, home run Baker will bat second. And then Babe Ruth, the Babe, is batting third. Mickey Mantle will be in center field and batting fourth. Batting fifth will be Hack Wilson, most famously of the Cubs, and maybe even only of the Cubs, I'm not sure. Uh, Al Kaline will be the uh, right fielder. I believe. Yogi Berra will be the catcher. Paul Wehner will be at first base. Travis Jackson will be the shortstop. And that's that's the uh, that's what the lineup is that you've got for the Hall of Famers that will be facing John Donaldson. So let's get on with that. And the first uh, yeah, and the first batter, as we said, is going to be Jackie Robinson. And he gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout. And again, I am using the basic sides of the cards. I'm not using the advanced, and there is one down. Home Run Baker is the next batter for the Hall of Famers. He gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball to right field. That's two away. And that brings up the Babe. Babe Ruth gets a 4-10, and that is a fly ball to center field. And the Hall of Famers go... Uh, easily one two three and we go to the bottom of the first so uh, the Negro Leaguers will be facing Bob Feller and Bob Feller's career statistics were 266 wins with 162 losses an ERA of 325 484 starts 21 saves he pitched 3827 innings allowing 3271 hits walking 1,764 batters, striking out 2,581, and allowing 224 homers. The lineup he will face is Bernardo Barrow, Wild Bill Wright, John Beckwith, Martin DeHigo, Dewey Creasy, Judy Johnson, Jerry Benjamin, Larry Brown, Ghost Marcel, and back to the start of the lineup, 
and Bernardo Barrow, and he will bat. He gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball to third base. There's one away. Wild Bill Wright is up. He gets a 4-3, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder, I believe, is Hack Wilson, and he is a 2. So we will roll the dice. And that's a 4 and a 2 in the outfield. Probably an out, and it is. That's 2 down. And that brings up John Beckwith. And he gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left. So both teams go 1-2-3, and we go to the top of the second. And that brings up Mickey Mantle for the Hall of Famers. He gets a 5-8, which is a fly ball to left, one away. Hack Wilson gets a 1-8, which is a walk. That's the first base runner in the game, and it's Hack Wilson with one down. Um, and we'll put him there. Uh, Al Kaline gets a 5-5. Five, five. That is a triple one to four or a double. And that is going to be a double. We'll move Hack Wilson to third and stop him there. So they have runners at second and third with one down. And Yogi Berra up. 2-5 is a home run 1-18 to or a triple. And that's going to be a three-run home run for Yogi Berra. So let's see. We got a hit. We got their first hit. And we got one, two, three runs. And still only one out with Paul Wayner up. And he gets a 6-7 which is a fly ball to right field, two away. And that brings up Travis Jackson, who gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball third base. So, they go very quickly. and Well, no, they don't actually go very quickly. They get three runs very quickly. And they get a big lead very quickly. That brings up Martin DeHigo for the Negro Leaguers going to the bottom of the second facing Bob Feller. They've got their work cut out for him, and that's a 4-9, which is a strikeout. Uh, Dewey Creasy gets a 3-9, which is a single. So that's the first Negro Leaguer to get a board and the first hit for the Negro Leaguers. That brings up Judy Johnson. He gets a 2-8, which is a single double asterisk. So now they've got something going. The Negro Leaguers have runners at the corners. And uh, that's their second hit. Jerry Benjamin's up. He gets a 3-8, which is a pop-out to third. So that's two away. They've got runners at the corners. Are they going to strand them? Larry Brown is up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that's a walk, which loads the bases. For Ghost Marcel, and he gets a 5-9, which is a strikeout. So they go down, um, not again, they don't go down quickly, but they also didn't get any runs. They did. They had a real threat going, but it didn't result in any runs. We go to the top of the third. We're, we're back at the top of the Hall of Fame lineup with Jackie Robinson, and he gets a 6-5, which is... A strikeout. One away. Uh, home run Baker gets a 2-4, which is a pop-out to second. Two away, and that brings up the Bay. Bay Ruth gets a 2-3, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. Bay Ruth out both times. He has been to the plate so far, and we go to the bottom of the third with that. And uh, Bernardo Barrow is up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a single. So, Negro Leaguers have another hit and another man aboard. Wild Bill Wright gets a 1-4, which is a fly ball to left, one away. That brings up John Beckwith, who gets a 4-4, which is a fly ball to center. And that is uh, Mickey Mantle, who is a 2 
And that's a 15. That's going to be something. 15 and 2 is a single and an air. Batter on second. So uh, that's going to be a single for the Negro Leaguers. And the Hall of Famers make an error in the form of Mickey Mantle. So there's one out, two on, and up steps Martin DeHigo. And he gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball pitcher B. Two away, runners at second and third, and Dewey Creasy up, and he gets 3-8, which is a pop out to short. So again, the Negro Leaguers, they um, threaten, but they don't score. They didn't bring anybody in. We go to the top of the fourth. Hall of Famers are up with Mickey Mantle, the man who made the error that wasn't um, critical, at least not to this point. And he strikes out. One away. Hack Wilson gets a 3-12, which is a fly ball to center field. Two away. And Al Kaline is up, and he gets a 5-5, which is a triple 1-4 to four or a double. That thing comes up again, and it is a double for the Hall of Famers. That's their second hit. And Yogi Bear is up. 6-6, six, six, and that is a single. And let's see, who was that? L. K. Line running one to 15. They're going to try to send him home. And that's a 13. If we look at the uh, right field arm. And if you know me, you know that I mix, um, uh, out, you know, um, on various times. No, that's a negative three. So he guns him. He guns him, and that is going to be it, I believe. So, the Hall of Famers don't get any runs. I think that was it, right? No, you know what? That wasn't. That was the first two batters, but uh, that is, that's um, an out at the plate. So... Um, you still have a runner at first, and now you got Paul Wayner up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball, double play, and that is going to be the end of the inning. So they don't get any runs because they tried to extend a runner home and were unsuccessful in doing it, and it's still 3-0 Hall of Fame. Judy Johnson is up. He gets a 1-7, which is a fly ball left field, one away. Of course, you know, the, the problem you're going to have with this a game like this is the Negro Leaguers probably aren't going to hit as many home runs or don't have as many home run hitters as the Hall of Famers are going to have. Jerry Benjamin's up, so they have to string hits together. Like this, they got a single. Jerry Benjamin with a hit, and that is the fifth hit for the Negro Leaguers. They got a man at first, one away, Larry Brown up. 6-9 is a walk. So the Negro Leaguers now have two on with only one out. And Ghost Marcel gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball left field C. That's two away. And up steps Bernard Barrow. Bernardo Barrow, and he gets a 1-4, which is a ground ball second base. So no runs come in for the Negro Leaguers there. And we are going to go to the top of the fifth. Top of the fifth, and that brings up Travis Jackson. So let's put all these guys away, get these back to zero. And that is a 5-5, five, five, which is a triple 1-4. to four. There it is, rearing its ugly head again, and a double. So the Hall of Famers, Travis Jackson with a leadoff double. Third hit for the Hall of Famers. Jackie Robinson's up. He gets a 5-7. That is a ground ball second baseman. Second baseman is... 
offhand, I don't know that. He is He is going to be Looks like he's a 4. So we got a second base 4. 16 and 4 at second base is out 1. So the runner moves over to third base with one out and the Negro Leaguers will bring the infield in. I don't generally like that play, but they're going to have to do that here. Home run Baker gets a 4-7 and that is a walk. So now with two runners on, they're going to bring the infield back and hope for the double play. Babe Ruth is up. And he gets a 6-10, which is a ground ball second base C. So it didn't work. They got the run in. The Hall of Famers did in the top of the fifth. And now lead 4 nothing, and Mickey Mantle is up. And he gets a 6-7, which is a fly ball to uh, the right fielder. So the Hall of Famers take a 4-0 lead. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Wild Bill Wright is up. 5-8. Uh, second base. The second baseman, I believe, is uh, would be um, Jackie Robinson, right? And he is a 3. So second base, not a big... Ooh, that's a base hit. The Negro Leaguers get a hit. And that's their sixth hit of the game. And that brings up John Beckwith. They gotta mount something here soon. One nine is a fly ball center field. One away. Martin DeHigo gets a three four, which is a fly ball left field. Two away. And Dewey, um, Dewey Greasy, Creasy gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a home run. Just a plain home run. And the Negro Leaguers get two of those runs right back. And it is now 4-2. It's a very good game now. Was, the Hall of Famers were starting to run away with it, but it's back to being a good game with Judy Johnson up. And he gets a 1-6, which is a single. And there he is. Eighth hit for the Negro Leaguers. Jerry Benjamin gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball. He had a, almost a chance at another home run. Just missing it. But they did get two runs there. So we go to the top of the sixth in a 4-2 game. And Hack Wilson up, and he gets a 2-2, which is a fly ball left field, one away. L. Kaline gets a 5-4, which is a catcher card. And the catcher is a 1, so we'll see what happens with that. That's a 12, probably going to be an out, and it is a foul out, two away. And Yogi Berra is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a pop out to first base. So the Hall of Famers go quickly there in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Four to two. Hall of Famers over the Negro Leaguers. Larry Brown is up. He gets a 4-4, four, four, which is a fly ball to center field. That is a two. That's uh, ten. Ten and two on the outfield. And that's an out. So this time Mantle makes the play. Ghost Marcel comes up. He gets a 1-10, which is a single. And that is the ninth hit for the Negro Leaguers. Bernardo Barrow gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a walk. So the Negro Leaguers are putting something together here with one out. Wild Bill Wright gets a 6-9 roll, and that's a walk. And Bob Feller is falling apart here. Bases are loaded with only one out. 
And John Beckwith up, and he gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball left field C. That'll hold the runner. The runners don't go anywhere on that. And there's two down. And Martin DeHigo up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. They were threatening right there, but they couldn't they couldn't bring it home. And we go to the top of the seventh in a still a 4-2 game with the Hall of Famers ahead of the Negro Leaguers. Um by the score of four to two. Paul Wayner is up. He gets a one nine. That's a double, just a plain double. He rips a double down the line. And Paul Wayner is up at second base um, with only the fourth hit for the Hall of Famers. And Travis Jackson is up. He gets a four four, which is a fly ball center field C one away. Jackie Robinson gets a one, uh, what is that, one eight? One eight is a walk. So you've got two on with one out and home run Baker up and he gets a six, six. Six, six is a single. And uh, let's see, who is that? I think that's Jackie Robinson, but they I think they've learned their lesson. They're just going to have him stop right there with one out, bases loaded, and Babe Ruth up. And that's a 4-7, which is a walk and forces in another run. So the Hall of Famers get another run, top of the seventh. And Mickey Mantle up, and he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. Two away. And Hack Wilson up, and he gets a 4-7, which is another walk and forces in another run. And Al Kaline steps in, and he gets a 6-8, which is a pop-out to third base. But Two more runs come in, and we go to the bottom of the seventh with the Negro Leaguers losing to the Hall of Famers 6-2. to two. And now Bob Feller has a little bit of breathing room. He got into a little trouble last inning, but it looks like he'll be able to weather the storm. But we'll see. Dewey Creasy is up. He gets a 6-8, which is a walk. So maybe not. I mean, may, if the uh, control problems that plagued Feller last inning continue to plague him. It could be a problem. Judy Johnson gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout, one away. Jerry Benjamin gets a 3-10, which is a triple one to six or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. Or, yeah, single double asterisk. And that is another hit. For the Negro Leaguers, they're really out hitting the Hall of Famers. They just can't get those runs across. One out and Larry Brown out. And he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball center field B that does score the runner on from third. And it's another run for the Negro Leaguers. But now it's still 6-3 and Ghost Marcel up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a double 1-9. Double. Double. Runner will stop at third. Another hit. Now if they can get a key hit here, they're right back in the game again. Bernardo Barrow gets a 5-8, and that is a ground ball second base, and he's three. That's Jackie Robinson. 10-3 and three at second base is a one base error. 10-3 at second base is a one base error. So the Hall of Famers make yet another error, and it proves to be costly um, as another run comes across for the Negro Leaguers, and now they make it 6-4, and that brings to the plate Wild Bill Wright, who gets a 5-5, and that's a walk. So I spoke too soon. Bob uh, Feller is still in a little bit of hot water here with John Beckwith up. And he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball third base. The third baseman 
I believe is um, Home Run Baker, and he is a two. And that's a 10. That's going to be another thing. That's another bad thing. That's a one base error for uh, Home Run Baker. And now it is, now it's crazy. That's their third error, the Hall of Famer's third error. And it's 6 5. And Martin DeHigo is up. And he gets a 4 4, which is a fly ball center field. That is Mantle. And he finally ends the inning, but not before the Negro Leaguers come back within one. And we go to the top of the eighth. And they are going to take out John Donaldson. The Negro Leaguers are. There will be a new pitcher. And the new pitcher is going to be Smokey Joe Williams. Now, Smokey Joe Williams' is, um, 154 game snapshot is a 21 and 11 record with a 230 earned run average, 33 starts, two saves, 290 innings pitched, and 214 hits allowed while walking 65 guys. And he's going to start off by facing. Uh, Yogi Berra and that's a 6-7 which is a ground ball to the second baseman he's a 4 we've already established and that's going to be a big hit that is a big hit for Yogi Berra the fifth hit for the Hall of Famers and Paul Wehner is up and he gets a 3-4 which is a ground ball first base A so there's a double play two down nobody on now and Travis ja um, Jackson is up, and he gets a 310, and that's a single. 310, single in the middle of nowhere. Sixth hit for the Hall of Famers is what I've got, and Jackie Robinson at the plate, he gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's a single one to nine. And that is going to be a single. So now the Hall of Famers are trying to uh, get... You know, um, cushion their lead a little bit more. Home run Baker up. He gets a 3 7. That is a single with one asterisk, so runners have to stop. The bases are loaded. Eighth hit. The pitching has not really been very sharp here. And Babe Ruth at the plate, and he gets a 4 7, which is a fly ball center field. So everybody is retired. They didn't get the run that they uh, were looking for, or runner two or six, to pad the lead. And now Feller will be taken out of the game. And the new, new pitcher will be... Uh, we're going to bring in Eddie Plank. Now, Eddie Plank, career, was 326 and 104 with a... 235 earned run average, 530 starts, 23 saves, 4,496 innings pitched, and 3,958 hits allowed while walking 1,072. And he will face Dewey Creasy. And he gets a 4-9, which is a strikeout. One away. Judy Johnson. Judy Johnson gets a 3-9, which is a ground ball third base. Two away. And that brings up uh, Jerry Benjamin, who gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball to right field. No runs come in. For the Negro Leaguers, we go to the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth, you've got Mickey Mantle. And he gets a 3-9, which is a walk. That brings up Hack Wilson. Hack Wilson gets a 2-7, which is a double 1-5 to five or a single double asterisk. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. So they got a uh, threat going here. Um, their ninth hit. They're still going to play for the double play and hope they got enough to firepower to get whatever number of runs they might allow by doing that. Al Kaline's up. He gets a 2-8, which is a single. So a run comes in. 
it wouldn't have mattered anyway then, really. And now the score is 7-5. to five. Hall of Famers over the Negro Leaguers. Yogi Bear is up. He gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball center field B. One out. Paul Wainer comes up. He gets a 6-9, which is a strikeout. Two away. And that brings up Travis Jackson. And he gets a 2-9, which is a ground ball shortstop A. So... Turns out that the infield in didn't really play much of a factor. Um, and they are now losing 7-5 to five going to the bottom of the ninth. The Negro Leaguers are. And they will need at least two runs to tie this game. Off of still Eddie Plank who is out there with Larry Brown up. He gets a 6-8 which is a double 1-8 to eight single. So just hold the presses because the Negro Leaguers may not be done yet. They get their 12th hit. Ghost Marcel comes up. He gets a 1-7, which is a single. So now they've got runners at first and second. No outs. And Bernardo Barrow is up, and he gets a 5-3, which is a fly ball left field. That is Hack Wilson, and I believe he's a 2. That is an 8 and a 2 in the outfield, which is... A safe at first on... No, that's catcher. All right. So, no, that's an out one. But out one advances the runners to second and third with one away. And now the Negro... Or the uh, Hall of Famers are going to... They're going to... They're not going to bring the infield in yet because they've got a two-run lead. So, Wild Bill writes up and he gets a 4-11. 411 is a ground ball first base X. And their first baseman is uh, Wayner, and he's a three. And that's a 13 and a three at first base, which is an out with no runners on base four. So no runners were forced, so runners held, and that's two down. And now John Beckwith at the plate. It's all up to John Beckwith, and he gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout, and the Negro Leaguers lose a close one. They really made it interesting right there at the end, but they end up losing the game 7-5 to the um, baseball, Major League Baseball Hall of Famers. Final score, 7-5. The Hall of Famers had seven runs on 10 hits, but committed three errors, and the Negro Leaguers had five runs on 13 hits. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.